<laughs> this guy's toast. With the recent announcement that the pirate package will be getting nerfed, I thought it'd be fun to go through 700,000 games and look at some stats regarding patches to pirate. Once again, this data was provided to us by the guys over at Hearthstone Deck Tracker and HSReplay.net. So huge thank you to them for allowing us to access this data, as this video would not be possible without them. Alright, so we have over 700,000 standard rank games collected between February 11th and the 15th. Now what kind of stats can we look at? Let's start off with a simple one. How often do you see patches on ladder? If there's one thing I can't get enough of, it's seeing patches shoot out of the cannon and tell me I'm in charge now. For this one, we'll only look at games from rank 10 and above, as that's where people generally play more popular decks. Alright, so here's the breakdown of the opponent's class for 747,165 games. 0.5% of them were Hunters, 1% Paladins, 8.5% of them Mages, 8.5% Priests, 9% Druids, 10% Rogues, 10.5% Warlocks, 18% Warriors, and 34% Shamans. First off, a moment of silence for just how little Hunters and Paladins have been played this expansion. As we can see, Warriors and Shamans are far away the most popular classes running the Pirate Package. But of course, with archetypes like Jade Shamans and Control Warrior, how often do these Pirate classes actually use Pirates? Well, against Shamans, you can expect to see patches 62% of the time. Against Rogues and Warriors, you can expect to see patches 88% of the time. When you think about all the different types of shamans available, aggro, midrange, jade, and control, it makes sense that their pirate percentage is a bit lower. However, with rogues and warriors, the most popular decks are pirate warrior and miracle rogue, both of which makes use of patches. Now, when you look at it as a whole, 46% of the time, your opponent will bring out patches. Another way to look at it is 71% of the games played at this level involves patches. 71%. I'm in charge now. now, I know you're probably pretty sick of patches at this point, so let's take a look at a stat you might enjoy. What kills patches the most? Yes, with all these patches running around, what will come out as the number one patches killer? At number 5, we have Jay Golem with a total of 47,000 patches killed. Number 4, Thrall at 72,000 patches killed, and by Thrall we mean him punching a minion with a weapon, aka Spirit Claw or Jade Claw. Next up, Fire Blast, the mage hero power with 73,000 patches killed. Coming up at number 2, we have Patches with 115,000 patches killed. That's right, apparently Patches also hates patches as much as we do. And finally, the card that has killed the most patches in these 700,000 games is Maelstrom Portal with 133,000 patches killed. Likely because A, it's a card included in pretty much every deck of the most popular class, and B, it's just a real smooth way to kill patches with. The damage and the mana cost lines up perfectly to kill early patches. Now let's compare this with some of the top small time buccaneer killers. Volcanic Potion, Wrath, Lightning Bolt, Demon Wrath, Living Roots, Backstab, Lightning Storm, and Maelstrom Portal. As you may have noticed, with the exception of Maelstrom Portal, all of these spells deal 2 damage or more. But now with the upcoming nerf to small time buccaneer's health, everything that is currently being used to kill patches will now prioritize small time buccaneer instead. It's going to be so much easier clearing out small time bugs once the nerfs hit as you're not forced to have one of these cards in your early game. Now, we all know one of the worst feelings ever is drawing patches in your opening hand. Not only do you have to pay one mana for him to get it out, it also takes up a whole card draw. But just how bad is it to draw patches? Let's look at the numbers. What is the win rate if you trigger patches ability? Rogues have a 54% win rate, Warriors at 57%, and Shamans have a 59.5% win rate. 
These numbers are pretty high. Keep in mind, according to Ben Brode, game director of Hearthstone, the highest win rate of all time was Undertaker Hunter around 60%. So shamans that activate patches are just 0.5% under that between the ranks of 10 to Legend. But obviously, this is balanced by the fact that 1. You don't always activate patches since there are games you go without drawing a pirate. And 2. Sometimes you draw patches himself. Now, how bad is it to have to play patches from hand? Well, in games where warriors have to play patches from hand, they have a 32% win rate. Rogues have a 37% win rate, and shamans have a 42% win rate. Warriors suffer the most, experiencing a 25% drop, while both rogues and shaman have a 17% drop in win rate. A pretty big dip, but that is the risk you take when running patches. Of course, being able to play patches correctly requires a pretty high level of skill. Plenty of people have made the mistake of ending the turn before attacking with patches. Let's ask the question. Is there any correlation between ranks and forgetting to attack with patches? Here is a graph illustrating the percentage of times people have forgotten to attack with patches, broken down by ranks. And what do you know, there is almost a direct linear relationship. With every increasing rank up the ladder, the missed attack frequency drops by about 0.1%. People at rank 18 are 3 times more likely to forget to attack with patches than the guys at legend. Turns out, patches is actually a card with a pretty high skill cap. Or maybe the guys at rank 18 are just playing around Molten Giants and Battle Rages. That's gonna do it for me guys. As always, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you expect to see less pirates on ladder now? Will Shaman continue its dominance without the pirate package? And if there's any other kind of stats you want to see, please suggest them below as well. Alright, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. I'm in charge now. Hey, lights out.